Today we're going to be talking a little bit about fungus. Uh, when I say fungus, it might evoke an image of a mushroom or maybe spots on your roses for us gardeners. Uh, it might even just make you think about a time you had some itchy feet. Those are all associated with fungi, but what we're talking about today is called a mycorrhizal fungus. Really the word mycorrhiza literally translates to fungus root. And that's what we're talking about, is this interaction between fungi and roots of plants in our landscape or in nature. Mycorrhizal fungus really associate with about 90 to 95% of plants in nature. And they're a critical part of the nutrient uptake when we're talking about the plant's ability to harvest nutrients from the soil. Now, the fungus benefits from this relationship by getting much needed carbohydrates that the plant produces in its photosynthetic processes. And the plant, in turn, gets the ability for this mycorrhiza to almost make, make a sheath around the, the root and in some cases actually get into the root. And then from there it will go into areas of the soil that the uh, plant's roots can't actually infiltrate. The diameter of the mycorrhizal roots is a fraction of the size of the plant's roots. So really what it's able to do is go out there, get water for the plant, get nutrients for the plant, one of the most important nutrients is uh, phosphorus. Now, phosphorus, if you've ever seen a soil test, usually tests pretty high in central Texas. Um, but you'll see on there that it'll say unavailable phosphorus. Well, what does this mean? I, do I need to put phosphorus or do I not? Well, that's a tricky question. Phosphorus is a difficult element for plants to uptake, but it's not difficult for mycorrhiza to uptake it. Really what they can do is they can go to that phosphorus, release an enzyme, and make that phosphorus available to themselves, and in turn they will bring that back to the plant. They do the same thing with water. They go and infiltrate areas of the soil, small cavities that the plant's roots can't infiltrate. They mine and harvest water and bring it back to the plants. Now, why is this important? Well, if you think about how hot our Texas summers can get, um, what's the thing that we have to do a lot, especially with our trees, our most important landscape investment? We have to water them a lot, especially in those first one, two, three summers. It's really critical. Well, this mycorrhiza is making our job a lot easier because basically it's going out and bringing water back from areas that the plant can't. Well, if I said that this is in nature, which it is, why isn't it in my yard already? Well, we're competing against compaction, asphalt, sidewalks. We're also dealing with erosion, tillage, air pollution. There's all kinds of things that can sort of reduce this mycorrhizal population. So we want to re-inoculate our landscapes. Um, it's very easy to do. There are gels that are available as concentrates. Those are more for agricultural purposes, but there are also granular forms and uh, soluble powders that you can add right to your watering can or to your hose and sprayer if you want to inoculate everything. Um, I'd like to call your attention to a little experiment that I did, and this is only about a two-week-old experiment. It's kind of cool because you can look at these two coleus. I inoculated one of them with a soluble um, mycorrhizal powder, and I didn't with the other. I didn't add any fertilizer, just a high-quality potting soil. And basically, when I lift this pot up, it's clear, on the one with the mycorrhizal inoculant, I can see a whole matrix of new roots. These plants' roots are just really thriving and making right across the bottom all these new, um, very vigorous white roots. And that's an indication that they're being fed. The mycorrhizae itself is imperceptible, but the plant is thriving because of it. And after only two weeks, you can see a noticeable difference. So I would say the next time you're at a nursery and you're getting yourself a new plant, really consider that small investment. It's very inexpensive and you can apply it, especially right to those trees, uh, right to the root systems, I should say, and really enable that plant to thrive right off the bat. So make sure that you go out and uh, get yourself some mycorrhiza and I promise you won't be disappointed with the results. For Backyard Basics, I'm William Glenn. See you next time. Mm -hmm.